If you're a watercolorist or you work with a lot of fluid media and you're looking for a new, really cool tool of the trade, you might want to consider the New York Central Dagger Striper brushes. They are a brush style that was traditionally for people that did things like automotive pinstriping or really creative hand-painted signs, things like that before uh, things became computerized. These brushes are made with traditional blue squirrel hair. Blue squirrel is a very absorbent bristle. It's going to pull up a lot of fluid media. It's a little bit floppy when it's wet before you start to paint, but then it becomes very controllable, keeps a very nice long thin line, but because of that absorbency, holds a lot of fluid media to keep a long pull for kind of whatever length of paper you're going to be painting on. Now we've got the, the blue squirrel hair that we use. We use kind of more the fine art version, which is going to be your winter tail hair, nice and bushy, nice and long. These brushes go up to a two and a quarter inch length. So that gives you an idea of kind of the control that that's going to be able to give you as a painter. And for those of you that are animal friendly and want to use animal free products, we also have a really fantastic synthetic. It's made with the most technologically advanced uh, synthetic filament. It's going to have that same kind of length, the same pull, the same performance as the blue squirrel, just hold slightly less media because the hair is not bushy, as bushy being, um, being a true synthetic. Now, these are made with really kind of finely tuned and balanced cedar handles. It seems strange that they're so kind of stumpy and short. It actually gives you really great control um, and good balance from the, the hair and the weight once it gets the fluid in it. It's got brass ferrules, so it's not going to cause any corrosion or issues if you do use it with some thinned oil media. Uh, it works fantastic on both hot press and cold press. The paper is going to dictate some of kind of the texture and the quality and the line you're going to see. So we'll, we'll show some of these on this. This is actually the synthetic that I'm using. We'll use the dark kind of gray for the synthetic and the violet for the natural so that you can see the difference. Now it looks kind of floppy and unwieldy until you actually go to put it down then you can get just a beautiful, very consistent line. Now, depending on the angle that you hold that brush, it's gonna depend on your thickness. You can just do some really nice line pulls with that. They go from a size double aught all the way to a four. So, and that's largest of the synthetic that we're using there. Let's use kind of one of the mid-range natural hair blushes with the violet. This is hot press that we're using in a moment. I'll, uh, we'll use the same brushes on the cold press so you can see the difference. Now you can see with the overhead, that brush is really kind of enlarged with the water in it. This is out of just one pull of paint. Let's get a little bit more of the color on there so it's slightly easier to see. And I've only used these brushes for maybe about 20 minutes kind of practicing with them. You can see what line quality I'm already getting from having virtually no experience with them. So if you're somebody that uses a lot of linear strokes, you're gonna have a field day with these. Let's do the same two brushes on the cold press so you can see kind of what the line will do with texture. Now again, this is the synthetic. You can see that paper texture kind of picking up the line, but for some painters and some styles, you want kind of more that dry brushed quality with the paint. same natural hairbrush we we're using. 
This is just watercolor. These work great with uh, fluid inks. You could use uh, thinned enamels. You could use, uh, you know, even thinned oils. Maybe some fluid acrylics. So you can see with the different texture, with that cold press paper, kind of the a little bit of texture you get with that look versus this with the hot press paper. So with practice, you can get some great kind of spirals, you can get circles, you can get all sorts of neat stuff. Uh, this might even be really fun with some Sumi ink and to do some kind of line work and designs utilizing kind of that width of the shape of the brush versus the point and turned so the new york central dagger striper brushes give them a try they're a lot of fun